Well, it seems like we're not going to be getting a map for the Hunter Call of the Wild at the end of this year like we normally would. You know, typically we get a December release for a brand new map, but they just put out an announcement that kind of says that that's not going to happen. However, it does appear that we are going to be getting a brand new dog coming to the game, and as of now, we don't really know what it could be, but I can only imagine it's probably going to be Retrievers since those have been the most highly requested dog species of all. Like, it has been actually kind of insane, the amount of people that have requested Retrievers over, like, any other species, so... Let's hope that it's Retrievers. It does look like we are going to be getting a dog. Let's go ahead and actually play the trailer real quick so you guys can see the uh, little teaser they put out. There really isn't much to go off of, but it at least tells us it's a dog. But honestly, even though they did basically reveal a dog, there is other news that's a little bit more interesting to talk about. So we're going to talk about the fact that we're not going to get a new map in December. This is coming from the official The Hunter Discord. Uh, EWVV said, Greetings, Call of the Wild. Did you see the teaser? We think you'll enjoy what's coming. There will be more details on that very soon, but right now we want to address a hot topic. Reserve DLCs and more specifically, what our plans are for the remainder of this year. The team is hard at work developing our next hunting grounds with the goal of creating an exceptional gaming experience that you'll want to keep coming back to. To make sure we can deliver on that and give the team the time they need, the next reserve will be set to release in 2024. We want to get this news out to you early as we know you've been excitedly waiting for a reserve announcement before the end of the year. That being said, there's a lot of exciting content to look forward to in the next couple of months. We can't wait to share more details with you soon. Thank you and happy hunting, the Call of the Wild development team. So, it sounds like this is going to be a similar scenario to when they released New England and Emerald Coast. Now, obviously, at that point, we ended up getting two maps still, but one of them was arguably not as detailed or impressive as they usually would do with New England Mountains being one of the least talked about and least played maps they've ever released. And obviously, I know that there's some of you that love New England, and there's nothing wrong with that, but overall, the majority of people were just not super interested in it. And then later on, they released Emerald Coast, which was a map that they talked about how long it was in development. The fact that it was a map that took about twice the amount of development time to actually make as good as it was. So I imagine that we're probably going to be looking at a same scenario, but instead of uh, releasing like a half-baked reserve like New England, they're instead doing some other stuff, it seems, like a dog and hopefully some new great ones, maybe some like backfilling of animals, like some stuff like that, it seems. I'm really hoping that they will do some backfills and some great ones if they're going to be waiting this long to release a map. But the question is, like, how far into 2024 are we going to be looking at? My assumption would be they're probably going to wait till June, but it's also possible it could be sooner, so... We're going to have to stay tuned for some more information on that, but as of now, we know that we're going to be getting a dog very soon, and we also know that supposedly they've got some other stuff ready to go as well. Because the way they worded it, there's a lot of exciting content to look forward to in the next couple of months. That kind of tells me that it's going to be more than just a dog. I doubt that they would say that there's a lot of exciting content if it was just a dog, so there's got to be more coming. Hopefully they manage to make some pretty insane stuff and bring it to the game because if it's just a dog and nothing else alongside it, I could see there being a little bit of a disappointment throughout the community. But I've got faith in them. They've continuously shown us that they can produce some pretty awesome content. So I'm hoping that we can manage to get a lot of stuff that we've been wanting to see in the game within the next couple of months. And honestly, the fact that they've delayed the map release until 2024 honestly gets me a little bit excited in a way because this means that they're putting in more time. They're spending more time making the map, which means it's likely going to be a more polished map and probably have a lot more interesting things on it than if it was just a, a normal six month release like we've seen in the past. Emerald Coast was the longest development time for any map according to uh, Jaxie Beard on the live streams and it really shows that map is an absolute masterpiece and by far the best map they've ever made so I can only imagine that we're looking at a similar scenario I feel like this next map is going to be 
on the same level. And I mean, uh, Jaxie even talked about on stream when they released Australia and people were asking why not Africa 2.0 that uh, they really want to be able to one up themselves every single time they release a map. So I can only assume they're going to try and make this map even better than Emerald Coast. But thank you all so much for watching. This was just a quick little informational video to let you guys know what's happening here in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I will see you all in the next one. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also click that like button and leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys are excited for the upcoming content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.